Hey guys, Zetsu here. So today I'm going to be continuing the clan battle series with episode number 2. In this episode we're going to be playing against the number 4 clan in the world, as you guys can probably tell by the title, the King Clan. This episode we had a team of 4, it was me, Kiars, Javon, and Daz, and we are using voice comms this episode, but unfortunately I don't know how to record the voice comms from Discord, but if anyone does, please let me know, I use a Mac. So this game we played on one of the new maps that the Guns of Boof team bring back from older from older times and they made they added this update. So it was actually my first time ever playing on this. I'm personally not a fan of this map. It's really small and compact. I like the bigger maps where I could snipe more because I really love sniping and I'm I think I'm good at it. You guys are gonna I think you guys are gonna enjoy this game a lot more than the stop game. This game is much more closer and competitive. It's a really amazing game. I was super nervous. You guys are gonna see how it went. We actually played this clan the same day we played the stop clan, so it was a pretty tough day for us. You guys will be able to see how we did, and I hope you guys do enjoy it. And for this episode, I'm going to be going over more specific tips that I did in game, instead of the more general tips that I did last episode because it was the first episode. So let's start it off. Here, our team is playing a lot more defensive than the other team. I'm here to back up my teammate, get the kill. I did good there. Here, that was a good push because my teammate was getting shot, and I barely took any damage for the double kill. That's extra points. Here, when I turn that corner, I should have had the porcupine ready instead of a juggernaut. Really not a smart decision by me. My teammate was there to clean it up. So, as you guys can tell, it's already a super close game. We gave up a triple kill, which is definitely not good. Gave him a lot of extra free points, which which we shouldn't give him. Here, that teammate did good by covering the guy who was on a kill streak. Because I could have gotten a combo breaker, which is an extra 5 points. So, now, it's super close still. 87 to 93. Well, our team was playing a lot more defensive. You guys can probably tell King was rushing us more, which is nothing really wrong with that. I, we just preferred playing defensive. We used voice comms on this game, which was a lot more useful. Here, I did good here. Got to double kill. And I was able to protect my teammates from dying. So, I was most of this game, I was just staying on the side, trying to snipe, trying to pick off some people. Super close. Actually, this time we had a pretty decent lead. Um, a 50-point lead, which is actually, the, I think, the largest lead in the entire game. Here, help my teammate, got the kill. I'm doing good so far. Hiding in a corner, putting as much damage with only 435 HP, which is, like I went over last episode, really good. Here, I sh wish I got the shot off, but I didn't. It was unfortunate. The scout fires faster. So here, I'm just trying to bag up my teammate. Let's see. I missed the shot. I should have hit that. That was my fault. Hopefully, I'll hit it again. Nope, I was not able to. Right there, you guys should be hitting those shots. Like, I don't know what I'm doing this game. I wasn't on my best when sniping. I should be hitting those. That's a lot of missed damage. Let's say if I hit those four shots, you 4,500 times four, that's 18,000 damage. That's how so much damage I could have put out, gotten two kills, but instead I wasn't able to do that. I missed all four instead and got killed. Here I did good there landing the shot. I missed that one. It could have been a kill. My teammate took some unnecessary damage from it. So I hear my two teammates push, so I'm there to back them up, to finish off the kill for them. I did really good there. That's what you guys want to be doing, just trying to back up your teammates. Moving groups of twos or threes, you don't really want to move the whole team at once, just in case you get flanked. Here, I'm also backing up my teammate. Did I get the shot, and then I get the kill. That's a good job. That's what you guys want to be doing in these competitive games. Level 34, basically everyone uses the same gun, so you guys want to, like, it's more strategy and more skill than people realize at lower levels, where people complain that it's a lot of pay to win. Hopefully you guys you do you guys can learn from these episodes. So here I'm getting shot from both sides. When there were two guys there, I definitely should have not pushed. I should have pushed back quicker. And I wouldn't have died if I did here. The guy got into our spawn. We really don't want to let that happen, especially since we're playing more defensive. He can flank a lot of people. That's a problem with this map. It's super small too. So if you're playing offensive, you kinda have an advantage. Here. I was able to escape and back up my teammate. I did a really good job there. That's what you guys want to be doing. You guys don't want to take unnecessary damage and be able to back up your teammates. Here, I'm following this guy. I don't think I'm able to get the kill. Yep, I'm not. And I was died. But I put a little bit of damage, which was okay. So you guys can tell, still a super close game. We're behind nine points. This game was super intense. And I got the kill there. Finished it off with my teammate. Nothing wrong with that. This game was super, super close. I remember how nervous I was playing to the top clan. This is actually our highest ranked clan that we played. Not in stop was number five at the time. I think they may have switched places, but all right here I got the pick off. We're up seven points, still extremely close. Another kill by me. I'm doing good here. I'm staying back, putting as much damage as I can, getting kills, not taking any damage here. Good job again. I land the shot. Hopefully if I can land another, if they pop out, but I only have one bullet left, which kind of sucks. 
Let's see, is anyone gonna pop out? I don't think so. Oh, and he did, but I didn't get the shot off in time. That was really bad by me. I took two bullets to the head with the Thanatos, and I wasn't able to put any in. I should have done better than that. Here, extremely close, 45 seconds left, 15 points ahead. This is where it gets extremely intense. I was so nervous. Thank God we had voice comms. We all decided to stay back and just watch our backs, play as defensive as possible, let them push at us and back up our teammates when they did. So here I'm just waiting, and then our teammate was able to finish them off. Hey guys, Zeto here. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what else you guys want to see. See ya.